Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and this is a quick look inside the Texan H501X portable receiver with the back cover removed. So this is interesting to see how it's built. It's always nice to see how our radio is built. Also, um, often when a radio is built, you can see how well designed it is and how um, how high of a, um, um, you know, uh, I would say how the, um, the quality of, of the overall construction also is often seen in the way that it's built inside. One of the first things that I noticed here, and it's uh, not something you see often in Chinese radios, is the fact that all the screws are actually shown you with little arrows. All the isolation uh, in the circuits, the different circuit boards, uh, have little holes with you know where you can actually use a tool to, uh, if you need to, you know, for example, fine tune the radio or calibrate something. Um, which often shows you a higher hand receiver than a little cheap radio that pretty much has nothing in it. So if we look a little closer here, you could see the speakers. Of course, two speakers on each side. That's what we knew. Uh, the one on top has kind of a membrane around it or a plastic around it here. Maybe that's um, kind of the way that they're doing their resonation because... Honestly, the audio is so amazing that they, they, it's not just putting two speakers together. They have designed a way to make the audio a lot richer. Uh, we have, of course, a big ferrite antenna. This was something that a lot of people talked about. I noticed AM, medium wave, and long wave just with the internal antenna is already quite amazing. And just look at how big this ferrite is. This ferrite is much bigger than what you get on most radios. So that definitely helps improve the reception of the, uh, the radio itself. Uh, lots of circuit isolated in metal casing to remove uh, possible uh, interactions and interference from them, which is nice. Uh, the AM first mixer here up. We have also the first oscillator, second oscillator. The PLL unit is here. Um, DNR unit. I believe it says DNR or something like that. Interesting. So we look at uh, here. This looks like the 47, 34, 35 ish uh, silicon integrated ship. It has that small form factor because it's part of the radio. So each section has its own circuit board pretty much here. So you have the circuit board with the chip on it, but you have the rest of the radio that has a lot more to offer. And that's why this radio performs well. Um, kind of interesting to see this. The pots with the controls and the wires with the connectors. Uh, very interesting design here when we look at that. Um, Texan H501 CV4. And there's a date here. You see that it says something like 6 October or I don't know, something like that, 2019. So I, um, when you open the radio, you probably have revisions of the circuit board. So that will be something to also check out. Are there um, you know, new revisions done or will there be revisions done in the future? Uh, arrows for all the screws where they are positioned. That is nice and uh, usually shows a, a better designed radio because it's meant to be actually opened um, rather than, you know, be just closed and shut and nothing can happen in it. So uh, this is what it looks like. Kind of cool to see how uh, a little, you know, it's, it's all ma made internally and so on. If we think the radio is on that side, that means that this side here is where the battery charges. So this is a little charging circuit for the battery here. As the other side is where you can actually plug this and use it as a PC speaker if you want. So that's why there's more circuits here to use it as a, an audio device. Uh, really neat, really neat to see how this thing is built. Uh, honestly, 
looking at the uh, board and wonder where the Bluetooth, where the Bluetooth circuit is. Could be on that board on the bottom right too. Uh, definitely. So, uh, huh. Definitely an interesting design here, and uh, nice to see the insides of it. If you guys have any uh, comments, or if some of you experienced electronics gurus see anything, uh, why not comment in the uh, uh, below and, and let us know of your own personal comments on this. So this is the internals of the Texan H501X portable receiver. Actually, it says 501, but they probably, you know, they, they are the same radio, so they share the same design.